Welcome to Anessa Yoga. We're going to do a nice yin class today for legs. Just remember that we hold our poses for three minutes and it's really, really important to listen to my instructions coming out. So let's start lying down on the mat, feet together, knees wide apart. Make sure those shoulders are relaxed on the mat, palms facing up. This is the bound angle pose. Let those knees fall to the side and let's start that long deep breathing. Inhale to the count of five and exhale to the count of seven. Keep counting those breaths. And let those knees drop to the side. Using the hands on your knees, bring them up to center and bring your knees into the chest. Let's come up into a seated position. Legs wide out to the side. Really make sure that the legs are flat on the floor, sitting bones are flat on the floor. Now you can stay here in a seated position with your hands behind you or if you want a deeper stretch, hands out in front of you. Again, wherever is comfortable for you. Let the feet relax. Relax the shoulders. And have, a, have your head in a comfortable position. Again, we hold this for three minutes and continue on with that deep breathing. Inhale to the count of five and exhale to the count of seven. In and out through the nose.
gently bring yourself up back to a seated position. Grab hold under the knees and lift the legs back up to centre. Let's come and sit on the mat with the feet and legs flat out in front of you. Make sure the sitting bones are flat on the mat. And let's fold forward. Wherever is comfortable for you, as long as you're feeling the stretch in the back of the legs, let the feet relax. If you're feeling a strain in the back, then come back up a little bit. Only go down as far as you can and as far as comfortable for you. Again, let's hold this for three minutes. Nice deep breaths in and out through the nose. Gently bring yourself up to a seated position. And let's bring that right foot in to the left thigh. Again, make sure both sitting bones are flat on the mat. Relax the shoulders and fold forward towards the left foot. And usually go down a little bit further on one side but again make sure that the back is not tensed nice deep breaths make sure the neck is relaxed that there's no strain on the neck
Slowly bring yourself up to a seated position. Let's take that right foot flat out in front of us. And let's bring the left foot up to the thigh. Again, both sitting bones flat on the mat. Relax the shoulders. And let's fold forward towards the pointed toe. Relax the foot. Nice deep breaths. Make sure the head's in a comfortable position. Slowly bring yourself up to a seated position. And let's come on to all fours on the mat. Let's come up into downward facing dog. And let's take that right knee to the right wrist. Make sure that you look behind you and check that the left leg is parallel to the mat. You can either stay on your, uh, on your wrists or on the elbows or down onto the palms of the hands. This is lying down pigeon pose. Nice deep breaths. And we hold it for three minutes.
slowly bring yourself up onto the palms of the hands. Make sure they're firmly placed in the mat. Tuck the left foot and take the right foot out behind you. Bend that left knee. Take both heels back down towards the mat. Let's bring that left knee to the left wrist. Foot goes out to the side. Look behind you on the right. Make sure the leg is parallel to the mat. And either stay here. On to the elbows. Or on to the palms of the hands. Keep that deep breathing going. Nice big inhales to the count of five. And exhale to the count of seven. Slowly come up onto the palms of the hands. Bring that right foot forward a little bit at the back. And let's take that left foot back into downward facing dog. And bend the right knee. Take both heels back down towards the mat. And then knees down towards the mat. Let's come into child's pose, knees mat width apart, feet together at the back and push back down, forward on the mat, hands comfortably out in front of you.
Slide the palms of the hands towards the knees and gently lift yourself up. Bring the knees together. And thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this yin class.